What's going on guys and welcome to episode 2 of part 2 of this Pokemon Shield Wonderlock Challenge. In this episode we're finally going to meet the Professor and we get a Posteon. Uh, and then start our journey to the Pokemon League and hopefully we get to the Pokemon Gym Challenge cutscene before that part. Got your Pokedex from Sonya. Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building a strong team. But building a strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way, not to mention what build, battling other trainers can do. Luckily, we got Pokemon Centers. Luckily, or yet, they're dead easy to spot. They all look the same wherever you go. Come on, Circle City. Bet you've never been inside one. Ha ha ha, wrong you are, Hop. I've always been inside a Pokemon Center. Ever since Generation 1. Level with me, Circle City. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Of course not. Then I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. If two kids from if you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers, I'm already good though. I'm heading route two Circle City. Come find me maybe when you're done here. Okay, uh I don't need potions, but I do need Pokeballs. I'm here to buy and again, thirty one thousand. I I will buy five more potions. Oh I can't buy I can't buy balls yet? Man. Maybe I don't need Pokeballs. Let me see my bag. Inventory. I had five before. Now I only have four. So, yeah, I need Pokeballs. Uh, let's go ahead and head to Route 2 then. Listen, Circle City, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the Gym Challenge, right? The Gym Challenge, mate. It's the annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is, you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor to see if she could help. You gotta take part too. A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all. Keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is on its way at the end of Route 2, so let's head there and give our teams the chance to train up a bit along the way. So, hold on, let me... Yeah, I can't access... Uh, what I thought I could access yet, which is the wonder training aspect of it. Route 2, so we can get a new Wonder Trading partner here. Over here, Circle City. Alright, Circle City, it's time we filled our teams out a bit. <laughs> and I'm just here to teach you how. You need to learn, you'll need to catch Pokemon if you got any hope of filling out that Pokedex. Lee, where'd you come from? Oh, only look at you, sir, little Circle City, you've already caught some on your own. Your mama gave you those Pokeballs, did she? I'll give you some more Pokeballs in return. I only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. Well, sorry, Leon. I can only catch one Pokemon per route. Uh, the Pokemon around here seemed easy to catch, almost like they're itching for to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? And now I don't need to worry about Pokeballs anymore. Great. The Pokemon on your team will gain experience points when you catch them too. And of course if they get experience from battle, so take on other trainers you meet along the way to help your Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even as I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? Alright, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The professor would be shocked when she sees me. 
And now let's get to route two. Ooh, exclamation mark. And let's see what this one is. It's a rookity! Nice little rookity. Wouldn't be bad for the first gem. Let's just go ahead and throw a Pokeball, see if that works. Level 5 Rookity. And... 1, 2, 3. Caught! Yay! Rookity! Doesn't matter! Because we are not keeping Rookity. Now, are we? Nope. This will get Wonder Traded off as soon as we can. Added to the Pokedex. Would you like to give Rickety a nickname? Yes. Yes, I would. And it is S T Namtown. Okay. Uh, so, with that being said, let's go ahead. Oops. Forgot the W. Oh well. Let's get out of here. And let's move on to route. Ooh, our first Pokemon battle. That's not hot. Let's go ahead and jump into this battle. Um, so, like I said, we want to continue working out this here. Squivet. And I should have no problems with using Water Gun here. That should be a two-hit KO. As it uses Tackle, it takes four. And Water Gun again. And it is a two-hit KO. Alrighty! So, first, battle that was not trainer-led. Or, uh, not rival-led, uh, comes out with a victory. So let's just go ahead and keep on... Oops, Pokemon. And it is two more potions. It is never bad to get a Oh, Yamper. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Mostly because I only have water Pokemon, so I need to run from you. It would be great experience, but nope. Run away. I would also love a Yamper. That would not be bad for the first gym either. Or the second gym. Uh, it's not great for the first gym. It's not bad for the second gym. Alright, with that being said, let's go ahead and join trainer number two. Let's see how we do here. That's Lauren. Chua. And this is why I say that we need, uh, more Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, let's go to the school of it. Oh, I just messed up all kinds of things. Let me just go ahead and get a net bite here. Oh, this might take a while. <laughs> Chuado uses tackle. I use bite. Ooh! High roll that time. And just gotta keep using bite here. I can live probably three more tackles. Yeah. And with four. Three more tackles now. Not gonna matter as Swaddle faints. So. Okay, I need to change. Reminder. Needed to add a W in that. in Rookity, and I need to change the WT to. An S in Squivet. Alrighty. Uh, that grows two, so there we go. And we defeat the last Lord. 
It looks like she should go into Hogwarts. I know you guys have probably heard that before. And one more battle before we face... Or before we see the professor. Blip bug. Alright. It's bug type. I think it's neutral. Let's just see here. Water gun. I'm four levels ahead. It should not matter how much this hurts. And it does not hurt at all. <laughs> and I thought I was in trouble. <laughs> Bye. Ah, and experience points and squab it. Gain the level. Nick it. Would I change Pokemon? No, I will not. I'll just continue to water gun. Now this one is level seven and it has a priority move. But that priority move only did two. But it looks like this could be a five hit. So there's, oh no, it's it's a four hit at least. Unless I get a high roll or a crit here, it should be a four hit. Water gun. Darn. I don't want to waste the PP on water gun, however. So I'll use pound and in the battle here Nick it fainted experience points all the way around and rookie gains grows level seven so now let's go ahead and meet the professor Look, there's the professor. So you've unraveled this all the secrets of Dynamax phenomena yet? Oh goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I hope that my granddaughter would take over my research, but Dear me, I'm sorry I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now, come on. Let's head indoors. Alright. Why, Hop, dear? I see Wudu has made some new friends. And you must be Circle City. I trust you received a Pokedex from Sonya. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Circle City? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into Dynamax phenomenon for years and years, and it takes proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go, Ian Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about, too, you know. Like how many different types of tea there are. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the new challenge. Oh, Leon, won't you endorse them? Hop and Circle City only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Dearie, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Gala region become strong trainers, isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That's the goal precisely of the reason I gave them both the Pokemon effect. Right then. In that case, how about this? Let's see if you two can show me a, such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Alright, so we get healed up. And we face Hop again. For the second time in two episodes. I'm going the wrong way. Oh well. Ooh, shiny. Bottle of fresh water. Not a bad item to find. I didn't find it the first time around. Hurry up, Circle City. You gotta battle me so we can get so I can give myself that endorsement.
I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is, and to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so we can prove Lee what we, we got what it takes. I'm rather, rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers do battle, too. Listen, you two. The reason I'm unbeatable is because I learned every battle I see or take part in. That's just how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. Alright, so Hop's going to lead out with the Wooloo, like we already know that he has. And we, we're not surprised by his team, to be completely honest with you. He has Wooloo, and then... Ooh, he actually has another one. I forget there's something. Okay, got a little bit stronger. Yes, Hop, I'm still three levels above you, though, so I'll use Water Gun here. Pop! It's a two-hit KO. Tackle. That does four. No matter Water Gun. Pop! Down goes Wooloo. Wooloo goes down. And we get levels all the way around. And we learn home claws, score buddy. You're already going to your ace. At level eight. This should help. Ready? Set. Pwop. It's a two hit KO. Well look at Bro! We <laughs> just talked about that in the last episode. Yes, I know tight matchups. You that still doesn't know what to do when you have a water Pokemon, you send out your fire Pokemon. Not my fault. Bye, Score Bunny. You're my favorite. I do love Score Bunny's line. I haven't seen the entire Sobble line yet, but I'm not a fan of. Uh... Oh. The Grass Pokemon line. Forget what's it called Grookey. That's it. I'm not a fan of Grookey's line. Uh, level five Rookety. So you just caught this poor son of gun, didn't you, Hop? Oh, well, what I'm going Why is everything just a two hit KO? Water gun, Bwop. So six turns, three fainted Pokemon. Yeah, that sounds about right. Right. <laughs> As the Sobble is at a level 11. Oof, I'm good at that loss. I clicked the button too fast. And I even got my Pokemon Pokeball throw perfect too. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory, I guess going through both is key to both of us getting stronger around. Circle City, hop! Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have little choice but to endorse you both as in, as the champion. So, you are going to do this anyway because I just wiped the floor with your little brother there, dude. Six, like I said, six turns, that's all it took. <laughs> and I beat three of his Pokemon without switching out. You both may be young and plenty rough around the edges, but that was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell of our bodies. Hop, I've always treated, tended to get caught up in things. Like I said, Pokemon. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I'll be worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you really have grown a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Circle City. Alright, Circle City. You and me are going to train up against one another and aim for that champion's title. Absolutely. The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh? What's that? Oh, I forgot how long this prologue is.
Circle City, would you look at that? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. Obtain a wishing star. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're going to be massive. Yes! Excuse me. Trust you pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have true wish in their heart, you know. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. There, I said it three times. Surely that means my wish will come true, right? Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of curious sort of rocks containing unknown power, and they're one of the most precious resources we have in the Gala region. But they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now and I'll have you sorted. Ah, right. Then please give Circle City and me the Dynamax to our Pokemon. Blah, blah, blah. I, I, I missed this whole thing. Sorry. Uh, you do understand. I do understand you're an excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Seems like I came home at the right time after all the the excitement. Hey, you lot, why don't we have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? And I've been totally obsessed with making Linda's trendy curries. So, we finally get out of the prologue area, and now we got to just move to the... Oh, we're not out of the prologue yet. Ah, morning at last, and time for adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, young challengers. Ha, huh, it is... Is it true you met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Or, well, this was really heavy fog, and then this really or dirt Pokemon appealed. Circle City tried to fight it off, but I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. Right. I right, found him with information anymore. Circle City Hop, these are for you. Alright, we got our Dynamaxing Bands. So with this, we can now Dynamax our Pokemon whenever we want. Wrong. Only in gym challenges we can we Dynamax our Pokemon. I fit them with wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on him too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find that it's not so simple as that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on the gigantic form. Now, don't be afraid to go sort out all sorts of places and new sorts of Pokemon that will help your Pokedex too. And he talks about his legend again. All right, then. Come on, Circle City. I'll beat you to the station. So, aha. Ah, yay! I can now wonder trade. I had to wait until I got the Dynamax and band, apparently. Connecting, please stand by. Alright. So, while this connects, I'm just going to make a quick cut. <laughs> we are back. Now connected to the internet, and we can start our surprise. Oh, that's right. So, let's see if I can't do this. Pokemon. Swap Pokemon. No. Darn. Oops, wrong way. Oops. So, with that being said, let me pause this for 
let's say two minutes. Uh, one last thing before we race Circle City. See, I got some great advice for you. You know how sometimes seeing a Pokemon wonder about tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow, like, you can make any blah, blah, blah. Yes, I know this. But on the other hand, if you whistle, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. You full pull stick, full proof trip, press left stick. Try it out and see how who can catch the most Pokemon Circle City. Oh, well, that ain't gonna happen, dude. So, let me go to go all the way back here, and when I get back, I'll start the timer back up. Uh, to the Pokemon Center, Yamper. Yamper is one of my most favorite Pokemons now. Twaddle. And I avoid everybody there. That was lucky of me. As I keep running. Running, running, running. Okay. Oh, I had to go here anyway, didn't I? Come on, Circle City. You'll never beat me at a station at that pace. Well, I'm not trying to beat you to the station, dude. I'm here to go to the Pokemon Center and then wonder trade some Pokemons off. That is what I'm doing. So as I enter the Pokemon Center, uh, let's trade. Let's change these now for a second. And it's S T yeah, All right, so we got one name fixed. See, and this is why I wish I could just delete a couple of characters and not have to redo everything all over again because it can be a pain. As we get here. So let's deposit these two Pokemon in the box. And then let's wonder trade them. Or surprise trade is what they're called now. Alright, so let's select this rookity to be surprise traded off. Again, we'll pause because, or pause the timer as we wait for our surprise. Oh, okay, Google. Pick a number between one and six. Pick a number between one and six. Here's a random number, six. Okay, so we gotta wonder trade it off six times. Awesome. Well then. So that's for the rickety, we gotta trade it off six times.
So, let me make a note of that. Uh, I caught a really special one, and you got not one. What were you doing this whole time? You're going to want a team if you if you're a trainer. So. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Pick a number between one and six. And this will be for Squirrel Day. Three. And then let's go ahead and pick it one more time. And this is for the starter. Here's a random number. Pick a number between one and six. Uh, teach Swift Lee. Give me ages go. Okay. So the Here's starter. The starter is going to be traded off one time, the rookie six times, and the Squirvet three times. And we'll get all these trades done in the next episode. Uh, that's going to do it for at least the face cam portion of this. Or no, I won't. I won't do that. That's dumb. Not so, not so quite so fast, you two. What are you doing here, Mom? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Score Bunny as a partner, darling. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let you know what you two were setting out. So here's at least a little gift on your way. All the kit you'll know need for camping. I can talk today. Camping gear. No matter what happens out there, and if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom. And think just how lucky we are to have mothers of the first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain I'll be the champion next, you'll see. Of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. And you'll be back home anytime. Wish us luck. Not that we will need it. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement is running ahead of even faster than train can go, Circle City. Come on, we're off. So, while this cutscene happens, I'll wrap things up here, maybe. There is the cutscene. Uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Yes, it was a little bit longer than... Uh, I planned on, but like I said, I can get really into this when I need to be. Um, with that being said, in the next episode, we will be trading all three of our uh, Pokemon that we have here. We will even catch a couple more Pokemon. And finally, we will get to the opening part of the Gem Challenge. Hey, Mr. Stanish and Manager, isn't this the wild area? Why are we stopped here for? Yes, yes, the, this is a wild air session. Make no mistake, I'm sorry to tell you, but the train is halted due to a flock of Wooloo on the tracks. That's got to be sorry about. There's nothing to be sorry about. This is brilliant. The wild area is massive, and there's a loads of Pokemon battle here. You get it, don't you, Circle City? This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team. Also, in the next episode, we'll be doing some raid battles as well. So, finally, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Until next episode, peace.